Hey guys, I'm Abhil back again with another video. This time it is about some Android tips and tricks that I'm going to share with you in this video. I've come to know that, you know, after checking some of the comments, uh, it, it appears that a few of the users, they don't know certain general tips and tricks. So they have asked me in the comments. Now it becomes really difficult sometimes to reply in comments, to write everything in comments. So that's the reason that I have decided to make this video. The questions like how you can sign up for beta user or how you can hard reset your device, how you can check the notification settings. So I'll try to cover everything in this video. And I believe that this will help those who are not aware of these tips and tricks. So I believe that this is going to help you guys. But before we start, if you're new to my channel, then do hit the subscribe button to watch more videos. And if you've already subscribed, a big thank you to all of you guys. So let's get started. Let's start with the first question that many of you have asked me in my previous video. The video was related to how to record calls with the Google's phone app, right? Now, how to join you know the beta program of a particular app now it's very simple you just have to go to play store and then search for that app suppose here it is the phone app okay and select that option here now you will find this option join beta okay so you just have to join here okay and that's it and it takes a few minutes to complete this process and this is the same process that you can use for other apps as well if I want to join this uh, beta program for this app Instagram then what I have to do is simply search that app click there and you have this option join beta now you have to know one thing that there are certain apps uh, that will not accept this uh, you know request because the beta program is already you know full okay so in that case you cannot join the beta program now after you know the process is complete let me check uh, that phone app okay so here you can see that the process is complete now now after you complete the process that means once you are a beta user then you will get update here so you just have to update that particular app and then you are ready to use the you know the features which are in experiments so you can check those features if there is any new feature which has been added now for example what we have seen that uh, the google's phone app is picking up recordings only in case of beta in a version in the normal version it is not working so you have to you know subscribe for this beta version if you want to use this uh, you know phone recording feature on this google phone google's phone app the next thing is also related to this google's play store now sometimes it happens that if you want to install any app for example if i want to suppose i want to install this app okay let me show you this any app let's check this one okay so when I uh, try to install, it says that waiting for download and it doesn't start the download. Okay, even if you are connected to Wi-Fi or your mobile data, it waits for, you know, it says that it is waiting for download. Now, what is the reason that it is not downloading the app, even if it is connected to Wi-Fi or the connection is there? The reason is that uh, the apps might be downloaded in the background. That means what your other apps are being downloaded in the background now here you can see that i have these apps which are having updates right but it is not automatically being downloaded now if it is automatically being downloaded in that case you won't be able to download any other apps unless you know these all updates are done so if you want to avoid this what you have to do simply go to settings and here settings and then you can see this option auto update apps okay so you simply select this option don't update apps automatically simply select this one now another thing that you can do this option app download preference here what you can do sometimes you know you can select that uh, over wi-fi only that means whenever you are connected to wi-fi only then you can uh, update the apps now if i want to tell you here I can say that the best option is this one ask me every time so whenever there is one update so you can select whether you can go for Wi-Fi or mobile network so this way you can avoid that problem of not downloading the apps now another thing if you want to select this uh, dark theme here you have this option here theme dark that's it okay if you like it you can use this so that was about the Play Store 
The next one is related to this uh, LED light, the notification LED light. Some of you have mentioned that it is not working properly for all the apps. Now, what do you have to do first? Obviously, you have to go to settings and then first check by going to this apps and notifications. Notification light, it should be turned on. Now, in case it is turned on, but still it is not working, then what do you have to do? First, check that for which app it is not working. Suppose I have found that for this phone app it is not working. Then what do you have to do? Simply tap and hold on that app then app notification then you have this option notifications here then advanced and this option notification light it should be turned on okay and i think it should uh, fix your problem but if it doesn't then what do you have to do now now what you can do you can reset your app preferences now this is the next thing that i'm going to tell you now sometimes i tell you that uh, reset your app preferences sometimes it is like uh, reset your connectivity references then what is it actually so what are they and how you can do it simply go to settings and then go to system and then advanced and there you have this option reset options okay now there are three options first one is reset wi-fi mobile and bluetooth you know connectivity preferences now you have to do it if you want to reset everything to default for your wi-fi mobile and bluetooth simply tap here okay and reset that's it it happens that sometimes you change uh, certain things and you don't remember right and if you want to get it to default then you can do this for your wi-fi bluetooth and you know uh, mobile data now another thing is that reset app preferences now accidentally if you have changed any particular setting for any or any access or permission settings for any particular app you can do this you can simply reset all the apps preferences and that will be set to default okay so this way you can do this another thing is that last one i won't suggest this this is the erase all data in case there is a major problem you should do it otherwise you should avoid it or if you have to take all the backup after that you can do it okay now another thing the next one is related to bluetooth some of you have actually mentioned that your bluetooth is turning on automatically even if you don't turn it on it is getting on right now how to fix this problem there is one possibility just go to settings then search bluetooth okay simply bluetooth and there you will have this option bluetooth scanning tap there now you have to see that whether this bluetooth scanning is on or off okay if it is on that means what your device actually uh, you know automatically scans bluetooth devices nearby so that means it will turn on automatically okay so you just have to turn this off similarly this is the option for wi-fi the same thing will happen the device will scan for nearby wi-fi connections so if you don't want to do this simply turn this off these two options okay this way you can do it now the rcs messaging feature now what happens if you turn this on you will get chat like features on your stock messaging app now simply go to more options here settings and then chat features so if you turn this on enable chat features now these are the options these are the additional settings that you will get send read receipts that means word whenever the other person uh, has read your message then you will get the notification like what we get on whatsapp similarly this is the other option show typing indicators this is the same thing that we get on whatsapp so if you want to get this chat like features on your normal messaging app then you can turn this on now the last topic how to hard reset your stock android devices particularly the nokia devices now this is something i only suggest if you have really major issues like there is too much heating you know many bugs or the ui is not responding at all otherwise i won't suggest because it will completely wipe out all your data it will erase everything so make sure that you have the backup with you before doing this now there are two ways of doing it simply if you have the password you know the pattern you can unlock your device then simply go to settings and then system and there you have this option you know reset options simply tap here re erase all data reset phone put the password and you're done complete the process and you can set up your device like a new device okay but make sure that you take the backup now what if you have forgotten your password in that case what you can do 
you can use the hard reset by using these buttons. So first uh, simply power off the device and connect your USB cable and turn on the charging. Now what you have to do, you have to wait for that charging icon to appear, wait for that. The battery icon with charging process, you just wait for that and once you see that, press the power button and the volume up button together. Okay, once you see that icon, simply press together like this okay and once you see the android logo again release the power button now release okay but keep pressing this volume up button now once you see the inner you know, factory reset icon then you have to release the power volume up button now you can release it now what do you have to do simply unplug the cable there is no need of this now now this is very important how you can get the menus right the factory reset menu simply press the power button and press once the volume up button like this okay just once okay don't hold uh, the button okay just simply press once now you have this menu here you can see that uh, you will find this wipe data factory reset okay now you can use the power not the power obviously the volume down button okay here this is the option wipe data factory reset and to select power button click okay now it will again ask you that you know you it cannot be undone so make sure that you have taken all the backup before doing this again select using the volume down button then power button done now it will start the process of wiping the data now as i said you have to do it only if you have all the data backup or in case you have forgotten the you know your password the pattern and you don't have any other option you know uh, you must do it so then you can do it otherwise i won't suggest doing this now it has been completed reboot system now select using the power button that's it now you can set up the device like a new device using your google account it may take some time to reboot the device so you just have to be uh, patient and wait for that do not switch off the device or don't do anything, do not interrupt, simply wait for it and you can set up the device as I said as a new device by using your you know, Google account. Here you can see that it has been done now. So simply select your language, okay, let's go, done, then if you have any Wi-Fi access, use that, okay. So after that it will check for updates like it happens when you set up the device for the first time and it will ask you the password again but what you can do instead of using the password because you have forgotten the password right so what you can do you can use your google account that you used to log in this uh, device so obviously you have to remember your google account id and password without that you cannot actually access the device so that is good because of the security of the device so this is something really good from you know the android system so you have to remember the google account id password so after that you can access the device but obviously all your data everything is gone so you must take the backup first before doing this now i believe that guys uh, this will help you guys and if it does then do let me know in the comment section and if you have any other further questions then do let me know and uh, obviously if you end up liking this video then do hit the subscribe button to watch more videos and till the next video guys cheers